Good answers. That's good answers. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to stand late. Yeah, that's We're good answers. You say Gucci man, I'm going to have to start <laughs> the door. Get <laughs> 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 out. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Thirsty Thursdays once yes. again. Beautiful day on the prairie. Absolutely. And so two weeks ago, we had Peter Daly in here and we said that we'd get the other half of the NBA. So, all the way. Here's our boy, Gordon. So now, we're going to call this a Thirsty Thursday. Do you want to be the guest of honor and pour it? Or? No, we're going to pour up a drink. Oh, let's do it. So, am I just filling up this jug? Yeah, sure. We should have had that prepped, actually. That would have been better. Well, it's still going to be good. Here, I'll turn it this way. Get pretty cold. Get a pop in here. <laughs> How much I put? Where did that come from? <laughs> it comes flying in. That's it magic. just happens when I need to light something. <laughs> I just won't be. I'm going to have to let that simmer for me. Yeah, for sure. Rookie pour. Here, I'll check Rookie pour. Oh. Robert will fix it for us. So anyways, yeah. while he's pouring yeah. the beer, i got some questions for yeah. So, kind of Peter uh, dabbled in it, but a little bit. I like to hear your aspects of how you got to know what Battle Axe Warriors was and how it came to be. Like, uh, how did you end up joining? I was told Brad reached out. Yeah, Brad. Brad had sent me a message asking me he wanted local talent for the first show. He popped in the sticks. Yeah, right, right. And I just jumped on that. I was like, yeah, man, I'm down. You know, that was actually my first show ever. So. And that was just over a year ago, right? Yeah, that was a year ago. Yeah. We got filled in a little bit on the details of that, so you've been with us ever since. I came in a little later afterwards, and I've noticed over time how much you've grown and you keep growing, and like much props to you, man. You're doing better and better every show. It's really Thanks, good to man. see, being so young, and it's just good to see. So, what? Uh, obviously, you're not from Unity. Oh, you live in Unity now, but uh, where are you? You born? Where are you from? I was born in Vancouver, but I would consider myself from Kimberly, British Columbia. It's a town a little bit bigger than this town. What are they known for? Such a beautiful town. Really just their scenery. It's right up in the mountains. So oh, is Kimberly. Cool. Is that south of BC? Yeah, it's right, right, right in the Rockies, right? right in the Rockies. Oh, it's so nice, man. Yeah. So what brought you out to the Kimberly's? I was only supposed to be here for two weeks, and that was over three years ago. So <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what's going on yet. Yeah, that's right on. Kind of right. with cheers to, cheers to yeah, Thursday, yeah. Thursday. Cheers to you guys. I guess week number five, six, I think. We lost count already. We've done so many. Oh, he likes it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 he, he took a little well. Yeah, for sure. That's good stuff. Put that on the market. <laughs> <laughs> so, come from BC. Settled in now. You're with us. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of recording in the booth when we're done here. Yeah. Oh, I'm in, man. Get you uh, to sign the door, I guess, because you've done time in the booth, or you're about to do time in the booth, so let's get you signed in the door. Yeah, we can do that right now first, and then... Got the shark. Pick the other end off. Just to pick a point. Sign your name. I got to do it right in the middle. You're going to block Bailey's name. you got to take the other corner <laughs> off. No, just sign the Bombay. So where, how, how do we find your tags on Facebook? Facebook? <clears throat> I'm terrible at computers. I like daily do a lot of the Facebook stuff. Oh, okay, so it's a DMV page? You guys got that? It's together. Yeah, we've been kind of <clears throat> taking a break from that, but actually, it's actually really cool because we actually just pumped out another song. We haven't put it out yet. Right? Oh, okay. There's, There's a good promotion song. right yeah, there. Yeah, it's, called, yeah, we can... it's called Do the Math. So, so the name Bombay, where did that come from? Yeah, how did that come about? Yeah. That was from the football team in Unity, gave that to me back in like 2014. Okay, cool. I couldn't come up with my own rap name, I kept trying and all the names were stupid and silly and they just didn't stick and then uh, all the all the high school football docs started calling me Bombay and it just stuck. Yeah. Oh, I like it, that's a big show out to the Mighty Ducks series. Oh, yeah, that's exactly it, uh, Gordon yeah. Bombay. <laughs> Like, Coach yeah. Bombay. Yeah. So what? So you, you mentioned you're taking a break from D and B, and Peter plugged his uh, dailies, plugged his up and coming homesick home EP, sick. which is, yeah. we're gonna try and release with mine. But uh, where have you been working on? Are you just doing some single things. And... I have three songs fully written for it right now, but it is a it's an 11 track album. One of them's a skit. 
So it's really just a 10 track album with the skit. Yeah. But I just haven't found out where I'm going to record that yet. Yeah, I'm going to have a hint right there. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't even, I don't have a due date for it because I don't want to hype something up and I don't even know when yeah. it's going to be finished. Yeah, you don't want to rush it, right? Yeah, you don't want to rush something. You want it to be yeah. natural. You know, I was hoping to have that ready for my like 21st birthday next year. Or when is that? What month? January. Oh, that's not too far. Too far 21's yeah. a good age. It's a good time. <laughs> yeah, I still got a few more tracks to write for that, but yeah, I don't want them all done. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I, I can relate. I'm not fully written up all my stuff, but you know. Yeah. I got a good question for you. Is what what turned you on to rap music? Like what got me into hip hop? Rap music? Uh, I I've liked rap music for a long time. When I first started listening to it, I wouldn't. Have, I never would have thought I'd be writing it. Yeah. Because I put it on such a pedestal, man. Like rap's amazing. Like I yeah. I wish I could do that. And then one day I just snapped and I started giving it a try and. I was whack as hell for the first like <laughs> four years. I've been out for six. Is yeah. that everybody though? Like you don't trust me, man. I got the, I got some old discs back here from when I was a kid in the DFA days, and it was uh, there's nothing to be proud about. But when you go back and listen to those old things, and I'm sure you know this, it's like flipping through a photo album. It's it's almost better than flipping through a photo album. You listen to your old self. And yeah, and you're like, reminds you of where you were in life yeah. at that time. And it's almost good that it's bad, right? Then you get to look back on and be like, okay. Yeah, yeah. reviewing playbooks or reviewing yeah. the, the tape after a game, right? right. Yeah. So you, you mentioned you're on the football team. You had a good career in playing some high school football. Uh, it was fun. I never got a touchdown. I got halfway to a touchdown, and I thought I already had the touchdown, so I stopped. I dropped the ball. And I got tackled <laughs> sword because I thought I made it, and I was safe, and I wasn't safe. It was yeah. all, all downhill from there. So, I guess one last question I have for you is, uh, I've been through a lot of rough times and this and that, and I think it's, uh, it tells, shows the viewers a little more about you or who you are. Is anything pop out in your mind at, like, a point in your life up until now that really stands out, that really defines who you are today? Well, if, yeah, your, like your first performance at that hip hop on the sticks, that was probably. Uh, that's your first time on a stage? Oh, I was so nervous, it sold out too. Man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like, who it was, was pretty... opening for you? Oh no, we were the first ones up there. Okay, your first ones up there. Who are you opening? Who are you oh, opening oh yeah, for? we were opening for our brothers Graham. Brothers Graham. Oh yeah, big show. Shout out to them. They are so kicking. Yeah. Yeah. And that went well. Oh yeah, it went pretty good. I mean, that if I could redo it, I would because there's a few songs I wish I didn't do because I wasn't. Uh, that was really nerve wracking for me the first time. <laughs> Oh, I can relate. I, same thing for me. I had to open for Prevail. And like, that's childhood star of mine. So I was like, oh my God. I'm like, and I thought I got this, right? Because of my years of DJing, standing in front of crowds. I'm like, yo, no problem. And then. Until the moment comes. Yeah, the moment you're... comes and you're in there pacing back and forth. And you just wondering, like, am I going to do this right? <laughs> yeah. I remember all the words. And... It's eight miles all over again. <laughs> yes, I but yeah, after like. I don't really, I think I've done like 10 shows now, give or take, and it's a lot, I'm a lot more comfortable going up there now. Yeah. Oh yeah. You and definitely. as the more shows you do, the more comfortable it will become. Is it not true you find, you, you look forward to it, you look forward to it, and you're ready, you're ready, you do, and then it finally comes and you're like, oh, oh my god, I'm not ready. <laughs> and then it happens and it's like, damn, I want to do that again, but better, like give me, like tomorrow night, let's do it again, do but it. better. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I had that feeling every time. So what about, okay, growing up with hip hop music, any favorite artist? You were looking around the studio here with some album covers. Oh man, I have a lot of favorite. Yeah, you got some big influences. Yeah. Oh yeah, it all depends where I'm at in my life at the time too. I meant like... Right now, where are you at? Who is your biggest one for you today? What are you listening to the most? Uh, I make sure a lot of 50 Cent, a lot of Hobson, a lot of Snoop Dogg, a lot of Eminem, a lot of Dr. Dre, a lot of... I, I, the list goes on, Nas, nah, it's soft. Yeah, right. that's all the good that's, answers. That's good answers. Yeah. <laughs> you could have said like, that, that's good answers. Little you say Gucci man, I'm gonna have to show you. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. No, that's. But good. your music reflects that too, right? You're not into the whole like um, Southern crunk sound and all that. You're fluid hip hop. Yep. Think, no, Gordon stuff's really great. So it is. Since checking it out, you got yeah. SoundCloud, you got Thanks, man. anything like that? Uh, Daily made a SoundCloud for us. Uh, I'm really trying to stay away from that stuff. I don't know why. Uh, I know it's important because it really gets some music out there, so I should get into it. Yeah, well, you're young. You got I wouldn't really be there without him. 
He's, he is my media man. Maybe you should talk to him after this and he can help you out with that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Get your, promote your single stuff here before your album comes out. He'll help you promote it up. It's what family does. It's global then. Absolutely. Relax. Relax. <laughs> I'll so, just forget everything about our that I'll just focus on <laughs> okay. You're on your own. Oh, okay, well, I'm <laughs> kind of screwed. Yeah. So, with that being said, while we wrap this up with a quick yeah. chug and plug. You can do that. Are you up for it? It's I'm called the we plug it and chug it challenge. I guess. Yeah, me and you, we're going to chug this while he plugs all of the stuff that we've been talking about here. What is your EP called? You come oh, the Beyond. Beyond. The beyond. The beyond or oh, just Beyond. Just Beyond. Just Beyond. Yeah. beyond. So, Make sure you get that one in there and uh, everything else. And uh, absolutely. Yeah. And thank you all for your coming. stuff, right? I'm not. I'm not <laughs> gonna post any of your stuff. So here's the Gordon Bombay. Thank you for coming out, and we're Thanks gonna record some good stuff and hear more from him. Cheers. For sure. So links below will be um, obviously Bombay's Facebook page with Daily, and I will try and find their SoundCloud page as well. And R2K no longer exists. Links are below. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm still around. Sure. All right, thanks for coming out. Yep. Peace. Peace out.